The B.C. government is extending its clean energy vehicle program aimed at providing residents with a variety of clean and green choices. While cleaner cars are popping up a bit more around the city, motorists haven't really been embracing plug-in vehicles. This nifty little cargo vehicle is a mighty truck. It's one part of UNBC's efforts to promote clean energy vehicles. These run off pure electricity. There's absolutely no emissions from them at all. You just plug them in and they, uh, I think these ones have about 70 kilometer range before you have to plug them in again, but for on campus that's more than enough. The university has also installed a public use charge station for electric cars and hybrid electrics. Both fall under the B.C. government's clean energy vehicle discount program, which has recently been renewed for another year. I think it is a good move. Um, up north, we're not able to take advantage of it as much as people in the south. Um, but again, I think it is good. We're, we're starting to see more electric vehicles and we have to kind of help them along that, remove some of those barriers. Hybrid vehicles like the Toyota Prius C will save on fuel costs and are advertised as cleaner. Incredible fuel ratings. They only have a 39 liter tank and uh, when, you're, when you're burning gas, say on a trip or something like that, they actually have an estimated mileage of 81 miles per gallon city and 71 miles per gallon highway. But while hybrids like this one are becoming more common around Prince George, they don't qualify under the CEV program unless they are plug-in vehicles. And since some of the hybrids, they're still running on main, uh, mostly fossil fuel and gasoline, they wanted to make sure it was a 4 kilowatt or larger battery. So that's why the plug-in electric hybrids would qualify, but the tr traditional hybrids don't. Tom Simpson at Benchmark Automotive says there can be benefits to using electric vehicles, environmental and consumer. The initial uh, investment of fuel, uh, I mean, you still energy is still energy. So whether you're buying it electric through your house or uh, gasoline at, at a pump, there's still energy involved. Um, convenience, um, it would be beneficial if you were a short commuter uh, back and forth to work. But plug-in vehicles may be less suited to those living in the north. Our winters are considerably uh, cooler than some of the lower mainland or even south of the 49th. Um, so we start to have uh, appetite uh, for your car, your electrical system, your uh, rear heaters, your in dash heaters uh, definitely tax the, the batteries. But the presence of charge stations, including this new one at Nedco, shows businesses are preparing for a future that will likely include more electric cars. Aileen Machel, CKPG News.